welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. Today I'm talking with Bobby Ukrup at the Ukrup Market Hall in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, question number one, how did your family get started in the food business? My dad was a meat cutter at an A&P store in Richmond and he always wanted to own his own business. He was 22 years old and my mother was 21 and she was pregnant with my brother and they opened a, they found a store to rent and it was a 16 foot by 32 feet, 500 square feet, about the size of a two car garage. And that's how they started. Why did you decide to open the U-Crops Market Hall? We had been in the retail grocery business beginning in 1937 and had one store for 26 years, added four more stores and by the year 1969 and by the year past 2005 had 27 supermarkets. And so, but we really sold our retail grocery to another company, and but we kept the manufacturing side of our business, which where we made food, baked goods, and we also made chill prepared foods. And we said we think we can make a business out of this, so we became a standalone food manufacturer. However, we always had an itch to get back in retail, so. We said, maybe there's a place that we can find that we can just sell our own products, the products that we make. So this gives us a chance to not only highlight our really good items, but a chance to innovate and bring new products to market. And if they do well here, then we're hoping our big customers like Kroger, like Food Lion, Wegmans, and Publix will then put these new products in their stores. What is the most popular item that you sell? I would say Ucrop's chicken salad is the most popular item we sell. We have a huge following for chicken salad, but we make 300 other items um, that are just as good. Look at um, some of these items, Emmy. Yes, so these are White House rules, of uh, rainbow cookies. These are super yummy. What is the thing that you miss most about operating a grocery store, and what do you miss least? What I miss the most is the opportunity to work with so many people of all ages. In our stores we had we hired people from 16 to 90 years old. And at the time we had a thousand people that were students either in high school or college. And so we had the opportunity to influence them with the values that we tried to operate by, the way we built our culture, trying to follow the golden rule. The opportunity to influence all those people on an ongoing basis. One time we had as many as 6,000 people. And the opportunity to have a positive impact on those folks was something that really drove our family and our many leaders to want to do the best we could. Make sure that we delivered on our promises, that really kept our promises, and really modeled the behavior that we wanted to see people use. And that, that meant like walking the talk. And that meant like doing what you say you were going to do. What's your favorite you cut product? I would have to say White House Rolls because there are so many different ways to enjoy White House Rolls. In fact, we have a list of 41 ways to eat White House Rolls and they're so yummy. They make many other foods even better. Um, do you think you'll ever sell your food in Idaho or other states? Well. We serve 106 Kroger stores in three states right now, Virginia, West Virginia, a little bit in Tennessee, and actually a little bit in Ohio. Um, so we, we do other states, and we also sell White House Rolls into a number of Kroger divisions elsewhere, but we're really not sure because we don't really sell a lot of those White House Rolls in those other divisions because they're not that popular there because people can't find them, they're often on the bottom shelf. And so we, may, we do sell also the Smiths uh, food and drug in Idaho, as well as Fred Meyer, as divisions of Kroger, but we really don't know whether those, the products are in that store. We know some divisions of Kroger have our, our White House rolls, but we sell, we go to 106 Kroger stores six days a week, and then 80 Food Lion stores four days a week. And not to mention, we also serve other, other retailers like um, Harris Teeter and Harris Teeter, Publix, and Wegmans. Tell us about your building and what have you learned about running your company? What we have learned over the years in running a retail food chain is that people will listen to what you say, they will believe what you do. And when we left 
food retailing, just the food manufacturing, we really miss the interaction with so many customers because um, we just missed it. We've been doing it for so many years. And where we are now is the Ucrops Market Hall is a former church. For really over 50 some years, people worshiped here. As we took over this their sanctuary that was built in 1971, the mantra of this, this whole building is a place where we want people to gather. We want people, we want to nourish people and we want to share. And so by coming here, people gather, they're nourished and they share. We think we're doing a lot of what the church tries to do um, when it was located here. So we're very blessed to have this opportunity to serve so many new customers and a lot of people who used to shop with us are now coming over just to buy the best of Ucrops. But we hope people will come here, to gather here, to be nourished here, and to share as they enjoy the fellowship when they're buying food and will come upstairs to eat or eat downstairs as well. So this is a place we think lots of good things can happen and we're honored to have the opportunity to do so. Thank you for talking with me, Bobby. It is my pleasure, Emmy. Have a good day, bye!